Welcome to Israel and the Holy Land. In this episode, we're going to the Dead Sea in Masada. I'm at sea level. We're in the middle of the desert on the way to the Dead Sea. We traveled about an hour outside of Jerusalem to reach Masada, which is located on top of an isolated rock on the edge of the Dead Sea in the Judean Desert. Got this ticket to Masada? Yeah. to go up there. We took the cable car, which took us 400 meters high to reach Masada, built by King Herod the Great. This was built in 31 to 37 BCE by King Herod to fortify himself from a massive revolt. Top of Masada. Right there is the Dead Sea. Mike, what do you think? Awesome. This is Masada, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This used to be King Herod, King of Judea's temple up here, destroyed by the Romans. King Herod was considered a brutal ruler, and he built this fortress as a refuge for himself. King Herod only came here a number of times, and he built this in Roman style, including a cistern filled with rainwater, a palace, a bathhouse, and a swimming pool. So this is what King Herod's temple looked like back in the day. Close to the walls here that they still are getting the sand the whole day. So that's the reason probably why they built it over here. It's very private and it's the first one to get a nice setting to get a few, a little bit of a breeze. This is the swimming pool. They use this for condensation. This is the Israeli army. They're coming in. Masada is considered to be one of the most respected Jewish symbols. Israeli soldiers take an oath at this site that says Masada shall not fall again, which expresses their commitment to protecting modern Israel. This is the water source. And right down here, this indentation is the Roman wall. After King Herod's death, the Romans stormed Masada in 73 CE. They built camps at the base and constructed a rampart and breached the fortress. The Jewish defenders, 960 people, committed suicide so as to die in freedom and not at the hands of the Romans. Masada serves as a warning for Jews to never allow themselves to be faced with statelessness or suicide. Again, where you see green is because there's some fresh water underground. After Masada, it was time to take a float in the Dead Sea. This is the Dead Sea. I'm going in. Here is the beach at the Dead Sea. Apparently you cannot jump in, you can't swallow the water, and you can't get in your eyes. Going in the Dead Sea. <laughs> Dead Sea! Hey, what happened? I'm in quicksand in the Dead Sea. Look at me, I'm sinking. Oh no. Oh yeah. Alright guys, I'm at the Dead Sea. This is... The water is really greasy and you just float right in like you're sitting on a chair just like that. This is the beach area. People are just floating. Got the mud on me. Dead Sea. Doing a little light reading. 
Everybody's got their face mask on. So cool here. What were you reading out there? Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is the Earth's lowest elevation point at 429 meters below sea level. We had tons of fun getting dirty in the Dead Sea mud. And just like that, this concludes our Journey to the Holy Land series. We hope that you have a chance to visit this region very soon. It's really eye-opening. If you like this video, click subscribe and stay tuned for more travel videos.